I don't know the lyrics. I don't know the. I know the music. I know the lyrics. I know. We're, see, I at least I can. I can read the music and kind of get you in the round. Well, I can't read the music, so therefore. But you can remember what I say. I know. I, I can't read the bloody music. I know. Isn't this the funny part? I can part? write, but like I said, I can go. But I can do this. This is called in my world. When you don't know something, you go. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing over the plains, mountains in reply, echoing the joy of strain. And that's they call his personal rendition. Glory in excelsior Deo. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joy is strange from all? See, here's, here's a challenge that we have is I'm really not very good at singing. In fact, I'm really bad, but I can read music and kind of get them in the I can't read music, but I can make the class step up in an instant. You give me, you give me the lyrics, I'll write your song. <laughs> so guess what that means? Yeah, okay, but Angel We Have Heard on High is a Christmas carol. <gasps> Whoa, this is, the, this is one of the first that is actually a Christmas it's carol. It's the first one oh. in three days it's a Christmas and carol. And actually, this is old camp, and I'm not a spring chicken. What we're doing is we're going over the history of Christmas music. Yeah. Not always intended originally for Christmas. Which people don't understand. But the, okay, they said this is the most religious holiday known to man. No, it's not, folks. It's a bloody pagan holiday that's been corrupted. They don't even have the date of birth for Christ right. It was, it was set on that day because it was... It gets sold with pagan stuff, folks. They don't know actually when Christ was born. They picked it for holiday reasons. The, the song commemorates the story of the birth of Christ found in the Gospel of Luke, which the shepherds outside the Bethlehem encounter a multitude of angels singing and praising the newborn child. The words of the song are based on the traditional French carol known as Los Angeles, Dans no Champagne. Literally, basically, angels in our countryside composed by an unknown author in L'Anne du France. The song has received many adjustments or alignments, including its most common English version, was translated in 1862 by James Sadwick, the Roman Catholic Bishop of Hexham. There's an awful lot of stuff from England and, and, and the East Coast of this country. You know, I think a lot of it is because, remember when the pilgrims came over here from England because of, because of religious persecution, right? They brought with them their traditions mm. from England to the United States, Yeah. right? So a lot of these that they were English origination, they were just brought over here at that yeah, time. Yeah, and then we changed them to fit ourselves. I mean, okay, Angels We Have Heard on High is the most commonly sung to the hymn tune Gloria, as arranged by Edward Stephen Barnes. The most memorable feature is chorus. Glorious in excelsior Deo. We, we don't really know the music, you basically bad. I don't know the music stuff. Where the crowd bow, oh, glorious, is uh, sustained through a lengthy raising and falling, oh, basically. Glory! <coughs> He's in fine voice today. I know. In England, the words of James Montgomery's angels from. <coughs> that's basically that stuff. That Folks, that's some um, Reagan session were so. I know. See, you're straining your voice. I know. That, is, that <clears throat> doesn't sound really. No, good. actually, it got me. I'm, my nose is been running. Oh. Any of the words of Jane are coming. Alfred, angels from the realms of glory are sung to this tune, except where the glory and excelsior Dale is refrain. Uh, so, um, basically, English, English, in angel, in English, uh, English angels we've heard on high sweetly singing over the plains and the mountainous and replied echo their joyous refrain. <laughs> See, this is really kind of interesting because now I want to go back and look at the different songs. Yeah, because what See. happens is depending upon what country it came from, the, the lyrics have changed entirely. I mean, this is just page after page. You know, uh, Glorious, uh, uh, this for Dale Shepherd by the Jubilee. French, uh, Los Angeles dans Because I'm sitting there going like an angels we have heard on highs. Angels we have heard on high, and I'll come all you faithful. They have Gaelic. Come all I have, um, faithful. 
So to me, it's entirely different. I have basically I have English, French, Gaelic, uh, Portu uh, Portuguese, Spanish, German. And it's, <clears throat> there's 14 different languages this song is sang in, which means it is a real popular Catholic song. <laughs> So, but now we'll go back up to that one. Uh, yeah, I know. I mean, it was a. Uh, I mean, it's got lots of stuff. Um, they, okay, Angel, you've heard on high. She can basically give you the the okay. music, but I can't. I just I, I fake it. I can't sing. You I don't know me. the music. I can I can be naughty and go. Angel, we've heard on high, sweetly singing over the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain. Gloria in excelsior Deo, Gloria in excelsior Deo. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong when the gladding kinds be? Where expire your heavenly song? I can do this. I can basically, I can give you anything you want, but the piece of music because I don't know the music. <laughs> so we try it. <laughs> she can do the music. I can and I can sing. Okay, ready? Yep. You ready? Angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing over the plain, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain. Gloria in excelsior Deo. I know. I'm, 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 I basically I used to make my living as a floater in Hollywood, See how which, good. Means, which means I did not have a clue what I was. Saying. I would show up on the set because actors are notorious for not coming in if they get a better job. I show up and they say, "Okay, you're doing." Uh, but see, they're actually seeing yeah, you sit there yeah. and do it. It's just like a fraction. Yep. I can. I would just the same thing. I mean, thing. like a very. You, you can see me dance in some movies where I was brought in, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And I would be landing a half step behind the people when I did a stunt, or I would be um, the same thing, like when they'd be singing God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, I would be, um, God, you know, they'd be God Rest You, I'd be Merry Gentlemen, you know, so that, I would be behind, I had to hear it start, because while I can't read music, I can I have a great ear for music. I can he has a up great ear, whereas me, I can read the music. Yeah, so what we got next is uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, which, you know, like so far, I think that was the last one. <laughs> was that all three for the day? I actually did one more. No, it Okay, did, I, I think I may have done, uh, I, think I've done I think I've done them no, already. Uh, no, that's, um, okay, actually, you know how it's live. Okay, um, this is what happens when they're not in separate files. Well, no, we don't put them in separate files. There. Day 4 music, that's... Day 4 music is Angels We Have Heard On High. Which is what we just did. Um, okay. <clears throat> you know, we did that one. Angels We Have Heard On High. Mm -hmm. Lyrics, uh, Glory, Excelsior. I'm trying to find everything, so... This is how you really know it's live. And God Rest You Mary Jell. Oh, that's the one we're getting ready to do, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... God rest you, Mary gentlemen. Actually, what happened was I didn't. Um, somebody. You're, see, you're getting thrown off because you put them in a different order. Because before, what they did is we were talking about the history of the music, and so then afterwards, and we're, the lyrics were at the end. Now they flipped it, so the lyrics are at the. You're going. Huh? Okay, here it is. Because what happens is the bloody thing is 22 pages long of 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 of, of, uh, of lyrics is what it is. So I I think what I've read out a thing. I've got an empty space. It's live, folks. I mean. Um, we could do, God rest ye merry gentlemen. <laughs> la 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 la. You know, but uh, it's also uh, you, you want to read it so that I won't. I won't. You can go. Uh, 
And it is an English traditional Christmas carol. This one is. Melody is in the what? The that's, minor that's two mode? Christmas carols out of six. And it's published by William B. Sandys in 1833, although the author is unknown. Like so many early Christmas songs, this carol was written as a direct reaction to the music of the 15th century church in stories behind the best love songs of Christmas. However, in the as yet earlier known publication, the carol on a circa 1760 broadsheet is described as a new Christmas carol, suggesting its origin is actually mid-18th century. It appeared again among new carols for Christmas in another 18th century source. Hmm. It's referred to in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol as the, at the first sound of God bless you, merry gentlemen. May nothing you dismay. Scrooge seized the roller with such energy of action that the singer fled in terror, leaving the keyhole to the fog and even more congenial frost. Mm. Ooh, basically, it's featured in the second movement of the Carol Symphony by Victor Haley Hutchinson. So now we go back up. The yeah. next one is going to be the problem, folks. Why is this a problem? The next one, because it's... Uh, God rest ye merry gentlemen. Okay, <laughs> you know how that one goes? God rest ye merry gentlemen. Let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. In Bethlehem in Israel, this blessed babe was born. And lay within a manger upon this blessed morn. To which his mother Mary did nothing to take us for. See, you can oh, tell. tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Okay, when I would do the movie stuff, I would basically, while they're doing the first sentence, the first few things so I could get caught in, I would be... And then I would actually, the voice would come on. You don't think but I see, did. because there's only the two of us, and you can definitely hear which is his voice and which is my voice. It's really easy to tell. Oh, you, you think Versus so? Versus the whole chorus. You know, this is the problem. This is the problem with, uh, okay, Ave Maria is actually meant to be sung in, in, in Latin. It's not really meant to oh, be sung. Oh, is it? Either. Well, the lyrics are totally, really different. There is, um, basically, uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go down, uh, but actually we'll do it and then we'll show you in a second. Okay. It's the Ave Maria is the oldest and most popular Catholic prayer. It is not a Christmas song again, folks. It is a Catholic oh. prayer. A lot of things are prayers, are chants, are hymns, are dance numbers. It, this is why people get this wrong impression that it is God off of religious music. No, it is not. I mean, uh, there's a lot of pagan songs in here for her. So, but um, uh, also called the Ave, the Hail Mary, and the Angelic. Uh, salutation. The prayer is often used in private as well in public devotion. The Rosary, the Ave Maria, Hail Mary, you know, uh, Grace of God is an unknown origin. Basically, you know, I, I was in a movie, you know, basically, you know, you bridge too far. Whoever, you know, basically, you got Rob Bobby Redford, Hail Mary, mm -hmm. Grace of God, Hail Mary, Grace of God, as they're killing the people. So, the first part of the sculpture part is taken the Gospel of St. Luke and joins together the words of the angel Gabriel at the Annunciation, together with Elizabeth reading to Mary at the at the visitation. These two passages were found as early as the 5th or perhaps the 4th century. And basically, it's really an old piece of him, folks. I mean, we're going back to the 4th and 5th century. If you can go that far, you go further. The second half of the prayer, Holy Mary, can be traced back to the 15th century, where the two endings are found. One ending, Asaka Maria, Mara de Eo Pro Novus, Pro Torbus, is found in the writings of St. Bernard of Seneca. But basically, he fed, it was 1380. That's really, God, that's a long time ago. So, back before Christmas was Christmas. And, and many music is set into composition by Frost Schubert and Charles Good are among the most popular. English translation, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Uh, 
Yeah. That's it sounds an like the Hail Mary. Mary. It is. Hail Mary. No, that is what Ave Maria is. Right, it's basically. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Ave Maria. Ave Maria, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the monks for and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. That's the English. I mean, um, that, um, um, basically. Uh, you just made me think. It's like when we're doing the Christmas special, we're going to have to have plenty of things for people to drink to coat their throats. Yeah, but we go um, now. We go do the. That's the English. It basically sounds better <clears throat> if you go. Oh, am I sounds better than the first one, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It just seems to rhyme in Latin more than it does in English. I mean, well, Beyonce... Well, it was originally in Latin, though. N no. Wasn't it? It was originally in Latin, but it was rewritten in Latin by, um, by was it, uh, by Franz Schubert, redid it to make it more lyrical, because it was, um, it was a hymn. It was basically, a, basically, you were going, Hail Mary, full of, uh, actually, this is the translation. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That's basically the song. That is it. So I guess um, you know until our next time with another set of songs, which I'm, I, I'll, I'll catch the music. I mean, you know, just as soon as she basically does the a few notes, I can I know what the music is. So or I can I can wing it before that. I mean, you want to hear me do you know a rock version of um, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. He, he, he. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed in the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. I think I heard a little bit of Until tomorrow, this is old camp. <laughs> and this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net or our more commercial site, www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. Um, let's see, friend us, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, pin us on Pinterest because we are, of course, in all those different locations on Monty Bubbles, but also for Christmas Is, where we have a goal of reaching 1 million tweets about what Christmas is to you by Christmas Day. And it's basically it's either we want you to tell us what you like about it or dislike about Christmas. It's, an, it's, it's, an, it's an, a neutral thing. We want both sides of the issue. That's how, you have, that's how you learn. You don't learn from what people like. You learn from what people like.